What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Ian and C. James here. Today we're gonna to kind of give you a little bit of a live coaching rep for our Mobility Coach Plus, kind of show you how we kind of coach for our course. What we wanna do is have Chris just do this kickstand hip hinge. I'm gonna watch him a couple of reps from this view. We're gonna have him turn so you can see what he referred to as the dump truck from behind. You'll be able to see that view. And then we're gonna be able to make a couple of corrections in real time so you can kind of see how I coach if you're interested in learning from us. First, have him do a couple of these hinges right here. No cue no nothing we'll have him do two I want you to look at him right now and say all right well what are some things that maybe he's doing really well what are some things that maybe we can improve upon think about what's the goal with the cue that you're giving him what is it gonna really improve and then also a huge thing that we're always hitting home is when you tell him something what communication are you using how are you using your words to positively influence the situation not necessarily making him feel like oh you did that wrong or you're stupid or anything like that, okay? So here's the second rep. Let's go ahead and look at it. Beautiful. Let's have you turn back this way again, you know, set up in the side view. So first and foremost, honestly, really good, okay? It's what he was doing wasn't necessarily wrong. It was just a different type of hinge than I would like to teach him. And we have our hip hinge guy to like go way into detail on why I think that. So let's go ahead and actually get into the coaching part of it. I love where you have your feet. What I'd like to see is a little bit less weight on the back foot. So can you get your heel a little bit higher off of the ground? Good. Can you start off with your eyes looking completely straight? And imagine that this knee is as soft as possible. So it's com yeah, completely offloaded. Now, what I'd like to do is get you a little bit more into like a mid stance, meaning your knee is over the middle of your foot. So can you bend this knee forward for me? And can you keep it there the whole time? Now, already starting nice and tall and even hip forward a little bit. Good, so now you're truly over your foot. From this view in the camera, we should see he's stacked over that right foot. Very important. Oftentimes this is what we're missing. I also wanna make sure that his heel is nice and firm on the ground on that right side. So like his whole foot is on the ground, he's not in his toes. Now. We're gonna add a little rotation to it too. I want this um, index finger to end up kind of going towards the big toe on the right. So he's gonna add a little rotation. So I'll get down here. Your knee is not allowed to move. Don't let it move and butt goes straight back and have that reach across towards me a little bit so it ends up in front. So think here, beautiful. Stay right there, good. Now I just want you to take a breath here. And then when you exhale, I want you to push through the middle of your foot. Don't let your knee come back, but let your hip come forward. Yeah, there he is, good, okay? Same thing again, nice and slow. Come on back as you go down. You're just gonna reach gently across, so bring that dumbbell forward more. More to there, good. And then as you come up, nice and smooth, push through the middle of the foot. Beautiful, good, much better. You can feel that in the glute, kind of do a little shaky, right? That's what we want. Now, let's make it even better. I want that weight to end up at your knee. I don't want it to go any further. And I want you to take this hand and just put it on the front of your pelvis right here. I want you to push that back again without your knee moving. And I want you to think about almost opening the backside here. So try to get away from that little bit of tuck that you were doing at the bottom. So let's go down into it again. Good. Good, and think this goes back, not down. Good, now stay right there and hold that. Now take a breath or two. See how our knee went back a little bit? Can you get it forward a little bit more? Good, now can you think about getting this up? Good, and then come through. Do another rep. Again, don't let that knee come back. You'll feel a difference. Keep that knee forward, keep that knee forward. Good, 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 good. Pause, then come up, drive through the middle of your foot, no right knee back. Good, now, Let's do a few more, but let's keep that knee forward more, 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 right there. Now don't let it move back from there. Good, good. Come all the way up, drive through the middle of the foot. Beautiful. Now let's give him the other view so he'll turn towards me. Good, left foot's in the front, perfect. Now here's what I want you to do. When you're doing these, I want you to be a little bit less squatty. You're still getting your pelvis to drop down when I just want it to go back. So when you use this finger, make it go here, but not there. So no down at all. Even if you don't even get to your knee, I don't really care. Cause all I care about is like, can you get this to open up and, and get the backside of the pelvis to open up? So again, we'll go through it soft as hell over here. Try to unload that right. Keep that right knee forward. Good, good. Much better. Freeze right here. Hold. This is it. This is the one right here. Good, 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 good. Now from this back view, 
Guess who's gonna get even more out of it when they do that? Stay right there, you see that? You feel that, right? Yep. Feels great, there you go. That'll put a mustache on you, eh? Okay, now push through the middle of your foot and have this hip extend forward. That's what I need. Now do the same exact thing. Get that knee forward, more, 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 more. Don't let that knee move back and try to get to that back corner. So you're gonna turn your belt buckle right slightly. Yes. Good, so imagine that like all of this stuff is opening. Now drive through the middle of your foot. Don't let that knee back. Two more just like that. It's so much better. Keep going. Reach that dumbbell across. Good. This is all open. Drive through the middle of the foot. Come up, last one. Okay, hold the bottom on this one. Hold right here. Now, getting just a little taller through here, good. Now, can you unload this a little bit more? Yeah, good, and that should cause you to do this. Shift forward and to the right. Now you're in that hip, hold that right there. You feel that? So a huge part of it could just be learning how to hold in this bottom part. Now, push through the middle foot, don't let your right knee move back and drive that hip forward. Beautiful job, much better. That's a great example of just a little bit that we can tweak a few things, get into that hip a little bit more. That's gonna improve internal rotation of the femur just by opening up that backside of the pelvis. He's gonna get really strong in the glute, learn how to push through the midfoot. The other one that's a little bit more of an RDL where his knees were staying over his heels. Again, it's not wrong. I just prefer to use this in most circumstances and train the hamstrings in the other way. Let us know what you think. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about how we coach things, definitely check out Mobility Coach Plus. We'll link it below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.